sometimes the pipes coming out of the hot can be a little narrow. Uh, what does that mean? Okay. Well, now, well, well, the, you have blood flow going f from the right side of the heart to the lungs through a, a blood vessel called the pulmonary artery. Now, when the blood goes out from the right ventricle to the pulmonary artery, you don't want the blood to be going backwards. So there's a valve there, a valve are like doors that open and close. And sometimes children are born or with valves that don't open perfectly well. Uh, it's called pulmonary stenosis. Now, on the other hand, you can have the, the same thing on the left side of the heart, where blood is going out to the body. And that's called aortic stenosis, where the valve between the left ventricle and the aorta, which then feeds blood to the whole body, is then is, isn't opening properly, and it's, and it's called aortic stenosis. What do they do if, if it's a little bit narrow? Well, and, you know, it's, again, uh, a question of degrees. Um, if it's just mild, we don't have to do anything. You know, um, but you know, if it, it if it's getting worse, you know, sometimes we'll have even a baby where it's where it is severe. I mean, I I've had you know one baby where the baby had to be catheterized on the first day of life, where they actually put the catheter in through the umbilical vessels, didn't even make any new holes. And how's the okay? kid doing today? I mean, she's now about eight years old and making her mother crazy. Thank you. Yeah. So there's a chance that sometimes you can fix these things rather easily. Easily, you know, you know, put in a catheter, and then and there's a balloon on the tip of the catheter, and you position it within the valve, and you quickly blow the balloon up, opening up the valve, and then take out the whole balloon. But time to time, occasionally, some kids do need a major surgery. Now, sometimes, you know, the, these valves are thick, and the, you know, I, I've I've had one patient where actually when they blew up the, the balloon, the valve broke the balloon, so we, we didn't have a choice, and the, and the patient had to have surgery on that. But we made tremendous advances in the last Again, year. Again, you know, you know, thank goodness, you know, we're, we're doing much more in the cath lab, you know, taking away a lot from the surgeon.